So this is what you've become. Just a has-been, a never-was, a never-will-be. Thinking that you're entitled to love, you don't even know what love is, you disgusting piece of filth. Why don't you just disappear? That's what they all want. That's what they're begging for. Give them what they want. Give them a show. You're interrupting my brooding session. Yeah, I'm an animated only fan. Hmm. Now, I could probably spend the introduction of this video for a good long while just going over Gabby Hanna's illustrious, colorful, and um, surprisingly dark backstory over the past couple years and her descent into madness. And, um, you know, I, uh, I really just don't, I don't want to. It just feels kind of like a run-of-the-mill old-school YouTuber trying to remain relevant and uh, she uh, she picked the dark side and you know me I appreciate a good villain origin story but this this is not it this is this is not it so while I would just absolutely love to debate with everybody whether Gabby Hanna is actually crazy uh, or just doing it to promote her music and get people talking about her um, I'm not biting Although I'm making this video, so I guess I am. But you know what I am interested in? In this drama-filled universe, the, the, the Gabby Hanna side of YouTube? When large social media influencers make OnlyFans so they can swindle people like me into buying pictures of their feet. Supposedly. And honestly, the other review I've done, the, the Onision OnlyFans review. <laughs> Which was funny, but ultimately a little, a little weird. I didn't, I didn't love that. It was, it was a lot for my, for my brain to handle. But I want to give this a fair shake. All right, isn't, isn't that right, Scorn? Wow, he is already. <laughs> you know, you don't want to see Gabby Hanna's porn. Fine. She goes by the name Babs11 posts 4.7k likes for the low cost of $25 a month. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Try and get a frame of reference here. What could you get for $25? You could get a Netflix subscription, a Hulu subscription, a Disney Plus subscription, and also buy your cat some meat sticks. You still just gonna sit over there? Cool. I could buy one sixteenth of a PS5 for the cost of, of this annual subscription. I could buy three and a half tubes of black paint, which would sustain me for many months. But instead, I am falling on my sword to give you this quality content that you all deserve. Let's do it. And subscribe. Wonderful. So before we go through exactly what you're getting for this marvelous deal of $25. Uh, there's a description. I am not a nice girl. Expect the unexpected. It gets weird here. I can't get that one moment from Bo Burnham's special of white girls Instagram and Gabby did that one photo on her Instagram that Bo was making fun of and I just, I can't. Super weird and quirky. Uh, when I think of the word chuggy, I think of Gabby Hanna. Moving on. No nudity. What? What? What's the point? It's twenty-five dollars. Onision's was like six. I came to OnlyFans to express myself fully and explore my creativity with less judgment, okay? <laughs> there will definitely be content here that I would never post elsewhere. I would, I would hope. Oh, OnlyFans. I love my body, I worked hard for it, and I love to show it off, but first and foremost, I'm an artist. <laughs> I really hope the content that I'm about to view on this page really shows off how much of an artist she really is. How many metaphors and symbolism can be found in the shot compositions? I'm, I am, 
I'm dying to see. I want to share a more vulnerable, raw, honest, and more sexy, nice side of me. Okay. Exclusive vids and images so down for foot content, obviously. Uh, pay-per-view, semi-lewd, art. I thought all of this was art, Gabby. Let's proceed. Okay, the first photo displayed is of her in a uh, bikini posing suggestively. This seems like the time and place to ask. Can someone explain foot fetishes to me? Uh, what is so appealing about feet and feet wrinkles? I'm not shaming. And then there are 60 comments, and most of them are explaining why or why not they like feet. Got it. $25. The second piece of content is her also in a bikini. I, I feel like at this age in my life, I thought I'd be, I thought I'd be further along. Oh wow, this must be the art she was talking about. Just found this clip of singing practice in my camera roll. Thought I'd post it on OnlyFans. Let's let's have a listen. I could have gotten Chipotle twice. If there's ever a time I can be in the sun, I will be in it. It is a semi-lude set of three photos of her posing in her backyard. This is like Instagram content. <laughs> Morning coffee! <laughs> I know I'm doing this for the meme, but like, this feels so weird. It's just like, people charging money for the- I mean, I understand if it's like porn, but you're literally just taking selfies and asking for $25 a month. That's like, kind of gross. Oh, this one's seven and a half minutes long. Let's go. Hi. Hi, hi Gabby. I've done that before I started, but okay. okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Right off the bat, tell me how you guys feel about this type of like video. Not in place of anything. Are you like, gonna buy me Chipotle to, or not? <coughs> Shit. Okay. <sighs> guys, look, I'm so insecure about my belly right now. I know this probably isn't like the place to be insecure about your body, but I have not been to the gym in a couple days. And also I've been eating chips and donuts like crazy. Wow, thank you for the boring girlfriend simulator. <laughs> This one's called, Just Playing With My Kitty. I wonder what she's gonna do. Oh, she's, okay, she's petting, she's literally petting her cat. Very clever. Okay, that was that piece of content. <laughs> okay, is there a way to get my money back on that? Like, I get it, I got got, all right? I, I paid the money, you can't just, this is ridiculous. At least with Onision's OnlyFans, I got like mentally punched in the face. You're like, come on, at least something happened. Okay, what is this? If you're somebody who's here for the foot content, which I feel like I've been getting requests for foot content literally since the Vine days. No, but <laughs> like okay. Frequent. I don't take the best care of my feet because I absolutely hate pedicures. I I'm gonna vomit. We can start by lotioning my feet. Here they are right now. You can see there's a callus here. I'm so sorry if that's gross to you guys. I'm more interested in how her room's decorated. She has a dream catcher over her bed and that is cultural appropriation and I am calling the police. Maybe I can hire somebody to give me a foot massage and uh, we can put that up there. <laughs> so it'll be a two for one. I'll get a massage and then you guys will get Content. They're not that bad, right? I'm 5'5 five five and I wear a 9.5. We're both so. artists. Yep, that's Gabby Hannah's foot. <sighs> wow, I actually feel a lot better. I don't. Okay, and the very first post here is a photo set where she is posing on her bedroom floor. Well, is this where like I make a joke about taking my own life or I don't. Capitalism? Okay, so what's my verdict on Gabby Hanna's OnlyFans? In comparison to the minimal amount of exposure I've had to others, uh, like Onision's, um, it's still very new, so I can't be that annoyed with the lack of content. But what what's there? I mean, at least she was honest in her description. And I'll never fault somebody for being a capitalist under the regime of capitalism. Like, make that money if there is an audience for that. 
Um, but this is pretty weak. I'm not not gonna lie. Did you like it, Scorn? You didn't. You didn't even stay. You don't have a foot thing. If you're going to pay the steep fee of twenty-five dollars per month, or sixty-three seventy-five for three months. Wow, what a deal! Not that there needs to be full-blown hardcore whatever on every person's OnlyFans, but a lot of this just felt like either leftovers or Instagram content. And if you're charging that much of a premium, it's very clearly to take advantage of uh, people that are curious, like myself. I have lost a few brain cells, so if you were interested, all two of you that were interested in uh, subscribing to her OnlyFans, don't. And I don't have a ton more to say by uh, expressions while viewing the content said it all. I would never say that I was friends with Gabby, although I ran into her a bunch of times when I was hanging out a lot in LA. She was very nice then, and it just kind of, it's unfortunate to see somebody go so far off the deep end, whether it is for views and fame and clout. I hope at the end of all of this, if she is actually struggling with mental health stuff, that uh, she gets the help that she needs, but that's all I have to say. And if you're interested in me reviewing any other influencer, OnlyFans exclusive paywalled off content, I might just uh, be obliged. And until then, uh, buy a t-shirt. They're very inexpensive in my merch store. Join the Patreon. I've been gearing up to release new music on there and for as little as $1 a month, see, you could, you could be subscribed to my Patreon. Follow my Patreon and get all the access to all the content on there for over two years and what you'd get for one month for this. So uh, I'm not gonna try and tell you what's the better value, but anyway. <laughs> Stay sad, but not too sad. And if you find yourself being too sad and you simply can't pull yourself out of being too sad, just, just remember the little things. It might get better, it might not. I don't know you, I don't know your life. And that's almost worth holding on for, right? I'm really bad at this. Okay, mwah.